Hey everybody, it's Striker here. I am on Minecraft, and welcome to Minecraft PvP 101. People were requesting that I did this, my subscribers, uh, because they think that I'm pretty good at Minecraft PvP and Hunger Games and just, you know, Minecraft in general. And so they thought that I could give you guys some pointers as to what to do in Minecraft to get better and win PvP matches, fights, and survival games. So I'm going to be helping you guys with a little tips, pointers, tricks, things that most people don't know. I understand that a lot of you will say, well, duh, who didn't know that? But uh, just to keep, to make sure everyone understands, this is how it actually is. This is how Minecraft actually is with these things. So, um, yeah. So hopefully I can teach you guys a few things. Hopefully uh, you don't know every single thing that I'm about to tell you. And if you do, that's go ahead, that's fine. You don't need to come and say, I knew everything he said. Just watch the video, enjoy it. If you don't like it, go ahead and leave. Anyway, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get started with the episode. Now, the first thing we're going to go over is armor and weapons. And um, weapons specifically, I mean swords. And not necessarily using them, but knowing how to use them and when to use them and what's better than what. So we're going to go ahead and start off with our leather set with a wooden sword. So we're going to go over here. And I have all these things that are directly off of the wiki. These are not made up. And um, I, the wiki words them differently. I'm going to use them as you see them. Um, technically, by the wiki standpoint, that right there, this one half of a thing right here. Sorry. Right? Wow. Okay. Is, um, that is, uh, one half, is, uh, actually one full armor point. And the full set is 20. But I'm going to go by what you see. And so that's half an armor point to me. Uh, moving on, the leather tunic is 1.5 armor points. So I take this off and I put on the leather tunic, you'll see 1.5 armor. Leather pants, you'll see one. Leather boots, you will see two. I mean, uh, sorry, one, one half. I'm sorry about that. Half of an armor point. Now, the wooden sword has 60 durability, which means if you use its primary use, which is, in fact, to, um, to hit things, such as, I mean, um, anything, people... Uh, mobs, if you use it for its primary use, uh, you will have 60 shots with it before it breaks. And it does two hearts of damage to something with no armor. <clears throat> I don't know how to subtract the armor from the weapons, but I know that the more armor you have, the more points you have, the less damage that a sword will do to you, if that makes sense. Um, and the leather set, if you have a full set of leather armor on, you will notice I have 3.5 armor points, making it the very worst set of armor that you have. Um, in your group here and yeah let's go ahead and put these away and we will move on to our next set of armor which I can't grab right there um, do all this boom boom and we're gonna grab our gold set of armor now for whatever strange reason a lot of people think that gold armor is actually one of the best armors out there it's actually the second worst um, it's it's really not that good um, the only thing that is kind of equal is the helmets, and I believe the boots too. Uh, yeah, so look, if you look right here, your gold helmet, your chain helmet, and your iron helmet all have one armor point. So I could wear an iron helmet, a chain helmet, or an, a gold helmet, and no matter what it is, it would do the same damage to me. So at that point in time, th that's basically, it's just intimidation for the other player that you're PvPing. So if I have a gold helmet on, and I have a chain helmet on and an iron helmet on, you gotta find out what people are actually most scared of. Um, in my personal opinion, I think it's an iron helmet. Uh, people see iron, they run. And um, so that's why I always wear ar uh, iron instead of anything else. Now, um, the gold chest plate has 2.5 armor points. So I put that on, you'll see 2.5. Put the leggings on, it's 1.5. And uh, if you go to the boots, the boots actually have half an armor point, which is the same thing as the um, as the chain. So these are once again the exact same, um, and the same thing as the leather boots. Wow, uh, the leather boots have the half as well. So leather, gold, and chain boots all do the exact same difference in protection for your body. Um, but now when it comes to a gold sword, a gold sword is probably the worst sword out there. Um, it does the exact same damage as a wooden sword, Except you can only hit 33 times. So, you hit 33 things with this. And, I mean, it's... Because if you break a block with this, then it takes off, like, three uses, I think. I'm not exactly sure. But, um, it does not do anything good for your sword. 
And, um, yeah, so, and then an entire gold set gives you 5.5 armor points, as you'll see right there. You're missing 4.5, so you have 5.5 armor points, and yeah. So let's go ahead and move on to the next portion, your chain armor, which most of you, if you play survival mode, you probably have never even heard of chain armor. Um, it's basically, it's another armor that's in Minecraft, but it's mainly used simply for the fact of PvPing, you have to craft it with a fire block, so you can't really get this in survival mode. Um, so right over here, you will have um, your chain helmet, like I said before, it has one armor point. So if I put this on, you see one armor point equal to a gold helmet, a chain helmet, and an iron helmet. Uh, if you move over to your uh, chain chest plate, it has 2.5 armor points, so it's the exact same as your gold. And uh, yeah, so there you go, you got 2.5. Your chain leggings has two armor points right there, you have two armor points. And your chain boots has one armor point. And um, then once again, I, like I was saying before, the total intimidation thing. Most people don't see chain as that good of an armor, so I would I would actually suggest wearing gold um, for most people because for most people's texture packs. Here I will switch over to uh, well not right now, but you guys know what a normal chain looks like. I have it textured differently on mine, um, but yeah, it's usually just basically thin layer, so m most people won't even see it. So I would suggest wearing gold for those for those of you who do not use my texture pack. Um, it it looks better. To, it looks scarier, I think two opponents. Um, and then your stone sword has 132 durability, so 132 hits, and it deals 2.5 on every single hit. And then a full set of chain armor will give you six armor points, as you can see right there. And yeah, so I have six armor points. That's pretty freaking good, um, making it our middle set of armor in this uh, set. So we're going to go ahead and move on to iron now. Your iron helmet and, um, not your iron helmets, your iron armor. Uh, iron helmet has one armor point. I don't know what I was saying before, sorry. Uh, iron chest plate has three armor points, making it the second best chest plate out there. Uh, let me demonstrate these. So you see one, and then you get three, and then your iron pants uh, has 2.5 armor points, as you can see there, and your boots have one, as you can see right there. Um, now your iron sword is the best sword on the survival game server that I play on because diamond swords are basically gone. You cannot use them. So uh, it does three hearts of damage and um, it has 251 shots making it the best sword that we're going to use in survival games on the server that I play on and uh, there's an IP in almost every video that I do that you guys can download. Um, and the full iron set will have 7.5 armor points. So if you put on a full set of iron armor you have 7.5 armor, which makes it uh, three more than this, and two whole armor points better than a gold uh, gold set. So people that go in, they put a full gold set of armor on. Guys, what are y'all doing? Iron is the way to go. Um, and then our very last thing that we're gonna go over is a diamond armor. So uh, we're gonna go right over here and put, grab all this diamond stuff. Um, Diamond is the best armor you can make in the game, as you cannot make emerald or anything like that, unless you're using a mod, obviously. Um, diamond helmet does 1.5 armor points right there, and um, a diamond chest plate does 4 armor points, so that is 4 whole armor points. So basically, you can put on a diamond chest plate and be more protected than wearing an entire leather set. So remember that. That's very important. Um, uh, your diamond leggings, 3.5, uh, th sorry, 3 armor points. 3 armor points for diamond leggings, and 1.5 for the boots. And, yeah. And then if you put on a full set, it will give you 10 full armor points. Your diamond sword does 156, and sorry, oh, sorry, 1,562 shots. So, if you hit, uh, 1,562 people with this, uh, diamond sword, it will finally break. Um... And uh, your 3.5 uh, hearts of damage. So it does 3.5 on each one. That's why it takes uh, three shots to kill a creeper, I believe. Or maybe more. I'm not sure. I'm not going to go into math on that. But yeah, so you can take, you can kill someone um, in three hits, I think. Yeah, that you do 10.5 points of damage. So three hits on this with a player with no armor on will kill them. And so Diamond, Ar uh, Diamond Sword is the best um, set. 
So yeah, that took forever to set up and forever to do. Um, and so now it's lagging. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you have learned something by these armor uh, tutorials. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on, and either this video or another on more details as to how to PvP. But this one is just the basics of what armor to wear. What is the best thing to do with armor? So uh, let's go ahead and move on. The next thing we're gonna go over is how to move when you are being chased in Minecraft. So you want to be able to move as fast as possible, faster than anyone else in the game. So the way you want to do that is by sprint jumping. Now most people, I, I would hope you guys know how to sprint by now, but my, uh, sprinting was implemented in 1.8 beta of Minecraft. And if you spaz down, if you, sorry, if you don't spaz, you hit double tap W, one, two, you, uh, hopefully you can hear my click. Um, you will move considerably faster, but your hunger will go down. I'm on peaceful, so that actually will not happen. But uh, that's the best way you want to move, is by sprinting. But if you can sprint jump, you move considerably faster than just normal sprinting. You, basically what you want to do is just hold down spacebar the entire time. The entire time you're running, hold down spacebar and you'll be golden. Now what a lot of people do not know is that if you sprint jump in a two block high surface, such as right here, then you move even faster than before. So if you'll watch me go right here, I'm spazzing the space bar right there and then I hold it down. And then I get up to another surface area, right up here somewhere, hopefully I'll find another two block high area, right about here, and I pop, 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 boom, there we go. And I spaz that, you move so fast and you'll get away from your opponents faster than anyone else can. And it's a very, very, very effective way to move in Minecraft. It does burn up a lot of your hunger, but if you don't get away, you're dead anyway. So I can, I would suggest moving much faster, just like this. Spaz down the spacebar every time you get underneath the leaves when you're running. And you need to be able to adapt to your environment. So um, that's what you need to learn how to do to, when you're moving in Minecraft to run away. And uh, yeah, so let's move on to the next part. The next thing I want to go over is parkour. Now, I don't mean setting up a parkour track and running that, but I mean, if you need to, go in and practice some Minecraft parkour maps. Because if you can implement those kind of things into your running and uh, moving in Minecraft, you'll be much more effective and you'll get away a lot easier. So, you want to learn how to tree jump, basically. So, once again, I'll say, like, we're in survival games. I run up, I grab a chest, there's nothing, and people are chasing me now. I got one guy, he's got a sword, I have nothing. What am I going to do? I got to run. So, I'm going to run... And I'm just going to move around through the trees here. And um, basically moving at all, any in any kind of direction, will um, be able to deter your opponent. He'll lose track of you, whatever he, whatever happens. Um, but basically moving at, of any kind. And you can even backtrack. Look at this. I'm starting to move back now. And I'll jump up here. Uh, by the way, this is all random generation. I did not break any of this. Didn't set any of it up. So I'm just moving along the trees now. And... Uh, should be coming back soon, and you want to be aware of your environment too. You need to take a mental image as to where you are. Oh, hey, look, I'm back. Um, he lost me already. I'm gonna go up, grab a chest. Oh, guess what? I have a sword now, and I can go kill somebody. So, the more you're able to move, the faster you're able to get away. All those things will come in handy when you're playing Minecraft. Um, and that's basically all I can show you in single player. Um, I will go play some uh, multiplayer matches in a second episode of this. But for now, unless I can think of anything else to add on here, hopefully you guys can add in some input and tell me what I should cover in the next episode um, if I missed anything. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end off this portion right here. Um, the next episode will be coming out soon, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. And um, anyway, guys, my name is Striker, and I will see you guys later. Peace.